It is considered one of the world's major public health research institutions. Brazil's Osvaldo Cruz Foundation, known as Fiocruz, has been operating for more than 120 years in Rio de Janeiro and has centers all over the country. With a history of controlling transmissible diseases, it is at the immunobiology arm of Fiocruz, Bio Manguinhos, that two scientists, Patricia Neves, an immunologist, and Ana Paula Nobon, a biochemist, partnered to create a homegrown mRNA vaccine. It is a version of the technology that has offered the best protection against COVID-19, and they are on track to achieving it. We're expecting that in about a year, a year and a half at the most, we will be able to register the vaccine here in Brazil, where we have over 80% of the population vaccinated. So our main strategy is to use it as a booster. Unlike Moderna and Pfizer, which are multi-million dollar private U.S. and European companies, Fiocruz is a public institution. It is pushing to break the lock that Big Pharma has on mRNA vaccines for COVID-19 and on all other vaccines using this technology. O fato da Moderna e da Pfizer não terem é, compartilhado né, todo o seu conhecimento com The fact that Moderna and Pfizer haven't disclosed their know-how pushed us to create our own vaccine with the aim to become independent of the big pharmaceutical companies. This is our goal. If they succeed, and they're certain they will, they say they will share both the patent and manufacturing process with the world. Messenger ribonucleic acid, or mRNA vaccines, as they are known, carry instructions that tell cells in the body how to make proteins to fight diseases like COVID-19. The World Health Organization designated the Brazilian team to act as a hub to make the vaccines and also teach that knowledge to manufacturers from low- and middle-income countries around the world. A second team in South Africa, which also has the support of the WHO, is trying to replicate Moderna's formula, in contrast to the Brazilian project that is creating its own formulation. Just to give you an example, one dose of Moderna needs 100 micrograms of RNA and Pfizer 30 micrograms. The one we are developing just needs 10 micrograms. So it's low cost, requires fewer doses and generates a larger immune response. Both scientists are excited because although they don't have anywhere near the same resources as the so-called Big Pharma, they say they're close to manufacturing a Brazilian-made mRNA vaccine. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.